ZBrush gives you the ability to divide to extremely high poly counts. Once you've divided your model, you can then scroll up and down between the levels of resolution. Being able to scroll between these levels of resolution gives us an incredible amount of control over our model. For instance, if I were in a high level of resolution and I were to do some sculpting, I could also scroll all the way down to a lower resolution, make some major changes, and then any of those changes that I make will carry on to the higher res and vice versa. So what ZBrush does is remember all the sculpting that you do on each one of these levels. So let's take a look at dividing some geometry. I'm going to hit T to drop this model to canvas, Control N to clear. I'll click on my tool palette and select a sphere 3D. Click and drag into the canvas, click edit, and then I'm going to click Make Poly Mesh 3D. Once I've done that, I'm going to turn on my wireframe. This will give me the ability to kind of understand visually how my poly count is looking on my model. I can also hover over the Active Tool icon, and you'll notice that we get this readout which tells us how many, poly counts, how many polygons we're working with. Currently, I'm working with about 8,000 polygons. I'll turn off Frame. To divide your model, the keyboard shortcut is Control-D. You'll notice when I hit Control D inside the geometry pull down inside the tool palette, we have this slider, the S div slider. Now that I've divided my model one level, I have two levels of resolution, one and two, which I can scroll between. I can hit Control D a few more times and keep adding more levels of resolution to my model. As I do that, I subdivide the model, and now you'll notice instead of working with about 8,000 polygons, we're working with about 100,000 polygons. So I suggest when you start modeling, you start at a low resolution, and you can start pushing and pulling and sculpting on your model. And as needed, when you want to add more resolution, just simply hit Control D. You can also hit this Divide button here under the Geometry pull-down. And then if I like, I can slide all the way down to a lower level, make some major changes if I want. and then scroll up and work on some of the finer detail. 